Hello, my name is Bryn Gillette. I am a prophetic artist who desires to make the kingdom visible. In fact, I feel like that's my God-given assignment. For several years, I'd say well over a decade, one of the series of images that's just haunted me has been the Bride of Christ. And this idea of can we visualize the spiritual identity of God's people here on earth, John 17's reality. In 2010, while I was doing a series of work in Haiti, uh, and then just following the devastating earthquake, I was able to stand in the cathedral ruins of their central church, their national church. Um, and from the doorway, there was this young girl looking out from this cathedral into the busy Port-au-Prince. And I had to think, was she one of the orphans who, uh, who's parents were killed in the choir when the roof had collapsed. Is she uh, just a street child? She was clearly in need. And I remember my heart moving to her vulnerably and thinking she embodied a young version of the church. And so as I painted that church into one of 12 paintings for a series for Haiti, with shards of broken glass from the cathedral, she was the personified young church. Later in that same series, I painted... Uh, the bride fully grown, really the personified Haiti in her bridal outfit, but also the personified church globally, um, the meta narrative church from eternity to eternity. And she has within her images from the other 12 paintings in the series, other 11 paintings in the series, each with the seven spheres of influence. Um, it was probably that very series and my writings on that that. Um, flagged the Lausanne movement, which at the time I had never even heard of. And Darcy Staten reached out to me and asked if I would paint the 40th anniversary sunflower image for the Lausanne movement. And that began the relationship that is now uh, having done these four pillars, which has been probably a life, um, one, of, one of the greatest sources of pleasure for me in my life as an artist. And the, the way that it has uh, welcome me to this table with global leaders and truly the like to see the global church, the bride in all of her beauty and be able to paint her and literally be able to paint her in pillar two, um, a Christ-like church for every community. I did paint her. And funny enough, just a few years later, another ministry reached out that reaches out to the Islamic world and asked me to do a repainting. But as I started, I ended up repainting her with Islamic um, tessellations, which would be their visual language. And so I painted this bride between the two trees of the garden in Revelation 22 and the streams, uh, two trees of life with their fruit to heal the nations. And so this time I was asked, could I paint the bride vulnerable and broken and how we might see the church in her brokenness and so I went back to some of my own iconography and I took this young girl from the cathedral ruins in Haiti, thinking of her, thinking that she also matched this uh, bride that I've done for Pillar 2. So I positioned her looking in the same way, but now holding a child, um, beautiful, beautiful, and yet standing amidst ru ruins. And truly, I, I burned the canvas. I pre-burned it before I started and then I... I burned her again once she was once she was painted, uh, metaphorically and symbolically of the ruins, the ashes, truly the ashes that uh, some of our fractured church really experiences around the globe. Although she's standing in water, she's standing with t uh, flakes of pure gold throughout her. Uh, the seeds of redemption are already there. Her identity in Christ is already secure. She is being purified. What is our task to bring our church, the bride, into her full identity of Christ? That would be my prayer, that as, as my brothers and sisters look at this painting, it evokes, it calls forth um, the kind of response one would want to see someone, a young girl with a child, vulnerable, needy, needing protection, direction, maturing, discipling. Would we be moved to do that very thing?